was there enough room for Jack on the door? This is the age-old question, the debate of all debates, so let me settle this once and for all. I'm going to show you a deleted scene in Titanic that actually gives us the answer to this question. Also, quick side note, that's not even a door that they're on. It's like a side panel from the men's smoking room, so it's technically a board. Anyway, here's a scene. It's just enough for this lady. We'll push it under. Let me try at least, or I'll die soon. We'll die sooner if you come any closer. Jack says you'll push it under, which tells us it's an issue of buoyancy, not whether or not there was room. Also, James Cameron literally wrote it this way. He's been quoted to say, had he lived, the ending of the film would have been meaningless. The film is about death and separation. He had to die. He also said this. I don't really, I've never really seen it as a debate. It's just stupid. <laughs> There's no debate. <laughs> He's called writing. Yes. <laughs> so what happened to Cora? Well, I'll tell you what happened to Cora. She dies, and so does her mom, and so does her dad, and we actually get to see the whole thing happen in a deleted scene. So, as requested, let me show you. Okay, but before I show you, I just want to give you a little warning that the scene can be slightly disturbing. I remember the first time I watched it, I was like, Ooh. Uh, and James Cameron removed it because he thought it was too horrific to see Cora and her family uh, not make it. But anyway, you've been warned. Here it is. <laughs> Yeah, so that's what happens to Korra, so it's pretty sad, but if it's any consolation, she was just a fictional character, plus she clearly made it to Titanic heaven, and she's all happy, so it's all good. So many have wondered what ends up happening to Trudy in Titanic, and basically she dies. She doesn't make it, and we actually get to witness her death. It's just a lot of people miss it because it happens pretty quickly, so let me show you. So we see Trudy throughout the movie multiple times. She's always with Rose, either cleaning up after her, helping her get dressed, all that stuff. Then the last time we see her is when Rose's mom tells her to go back to the room, then turn the heaters on. She wants some tea. And then we don't see her again until this scene right here. Yeah, that was Trudy. They left her on the ship. But it's all good because she was just a fictional character and we see her at the end waving all happy when Rose dies. Does Rose's mother survive? Yeah, she does. Even though I think most people would rather her freeze, but yeah, she does survive. And there's actually a deleted scene that shows us a little more of what happens to her. So in the movie, we see her get rescued on lifeboat number six. So we just kind of assume that she survives. But there's a scene that was deleted right after this scene, which shows the extended Carpathia rescue sequence. Here we see Rose physically being pulled onto the ship. We see some other survivors boarding as well. And in a second, we're gonna see Ruth, Rose's mom, also board the ship. Here we see Rose getting some hot soup, followed by her mom, who obviously doesn't see her because she's looking around all confused. So we gotta assume they never see each other ever again. And yeah, that's the last time we see Rose's mom ever again too. Isn't there a deleted scene where Cal is looking for Rose? Yeah, there is, except it's more of an extended scene that was cut slightly, but let me show you. So this is the original version that we all know. We see Rose look up at Cal, she hides her face, and then he just walks away. Now the extended version is basically the same except for this part right here. And then from this point on, it's the same ending that we originally saw. They also cut out one of old Rose's lines right here. Let me show you. The crash of 29. It is interest hard. And he put a pistol in his mouth that year. This line right here, they cut this out. His children fought over the scraps of his estate like hyenas, or so I read. What happens to this little girl that Cal uses to get into a lifeboat? Well, believe it or not, she actually survives, and we see her alive in a deleted scene that I'll show you right now. So in the movie, we see Cal pick the little girl up, he basically throws her into the lifeboat, he hops on himself, and two seconds later, it's mass pandemonium. Then we see the little girl crying as the water's creeping up, and then Cal's like, you know what, I don't want you anymore. Uh, he stands up, and then basically everybody gets launched from the lifeboat. Now, you'll notice that in the original movie version, we do see her there, she's sleeping, she's alive. It just goes by so quickly, most people miss it. But in this extended rescue sequence that was later deleted, we do actually see her alive on this ship. Here we see some grieving women, 
Here we also see Colonel Archibald Gracie, by the way. And here is the little girl. She's a little sleepy, a little tired, but she's alive. She was also just a fictional character. Is Rose dead or is she dreaming at the end of Titanic? Okay, so this is what everyone always wants to know. So let me whip out the special edition DVD and I can show you exactly what James Cameron himself, who's the director and the writer of Titanic, says regarding the ending. Let's turn on the director's commentary and these are his own words. Now, of course, the big ambiguity here is, you know, is she alive or and, and dreaming or is she dead and on her way to Titanic heaven here? And of course, I'll never tell. I mean, I know what we intended at the time. But that doesn't mean I have to go boarding it out. I know you bought this, you know, expensive special edition DVD and you were, you know, hoping for the answer, but the answer has to be something that you supply personally, individually. So he intentionally left it open-ended, so whatever you think happened is what happened. Personally, I think she died peacefully in her sleep. So what happens to Lovejoy in Titanic? We see him at the end here with his face all bloodied up, but we don't really get any context, and that's because the scene was deleted. So this is a deleted scene in three times the speed. It's literally five minutes long. Basically, Cal tells Lovejoy that he can keep the diamond if he manages to find Jack and Rose, so basically he goes hunting for them. You'll notice that the dining room is flooding around them, and they actually built this set in a tank so they could dunk it in and flood it multiple times. And every time they wanted to do another take, they'd have to reset up the chairs and the china and dry all the carpets. It was pretty time consuming. And then Jack comes in and beats the crap out of Lovejoy. He smashes his face in the glass, which is why it's all bloody at the end of the movie. I really hope TikTok doesn't take this down for violence. And then they leave the dining room and head down to hide from Lovejoy, which then transitions into the scene where we see them save that little boy in the flooding hallway. Titanic had a lot of deleted scenes and minor storylines that were cut out, and one of the bigger ones that was deleted was Fabrizio and Helga's romance. So here it is. Fabrizio. 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 Helga. Does Helga survive? Uh, no, she doesn't. And we actually see her at the end. You may not have noticed her because her hair is all down, but we actually witness her demise. That's Helga right here. We see Rose looks at her, acknowledges her, and then we see her final moments. Here's a deleted scene in Titanic that I always enjoyed because James Cameron gives us some fun foreshadowing of what's to come. So here they're getting a tour of Titanic's gymnasium. Now I want you to pay attention to Ruth, Rose's mom, and Rose because they make references to skills that are going to be crucial for their survival later on in the movie. So let's take a look. And this is our new rowing machine. Uh, care to try your hand, madam? That would be absurd. I can't imagine a skill. I should likely need less. <laughs> The next stop on our tour will be the bridge. This way, please. And of course, just a few hours later, Ruth finds herself in a lifeboat rowing with the unsinkable Molly Brown. And Rose gets a little bit aggressive. Also, don't punch people in real life, so TikTok doesn't remove this. Okay, thanks, bye. What's good, Titanic nerds? It's Raph the Titanic Guy Avila here. Thank you so much for watching this TikTok compilation. If you guys enjoyed the video, please don't forget to drop a like and to subscribe to the channel and join our community of Titanic nerds. Also, let me know down in the comments, was there enough room for Jack on the door or the piece of wood or was Rose just being selfish? Let me know. Also, uh, don't forget to click some of these links here. The, some of these videos are really, really cool. I think you're gonna like them or don't. I can't force you to do anything. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.